Hello again, people of the interwebs. This is WanderGirl108 with really good old games no one cares about, Kingsley's Adventure. Um, the light decided to come back on while I was reviewing that last video. Yes, I'm actually pausing my game for like however long to rewatch the re video I just recorded. It's, it's, it helps me learn, you know? <laughs> Kind of need to focus here. Something obnoxious about those platforms. You can't jump onto them from in the water. they give you for this boss battle are very nice. Anyone in this world say hands when everyone has like paws or whatever or wings or fins not hands is the point. Uh. Okay, so finally chapter two. Old Wrinkle, an aged badger with a passion for deep wisdom, took the young Kingsley and tutored him in the ways of a warrior. Kingsley often wondered how a crumpled old creature like Wrinkle came to know the ins and outs of duffing people up. But whenever he plucked up the courage to ask, the knowing badger would reply, Your father was inquisitive too, Kingsley, and look what happened to him. Not that you had the chance to but not that you had the chance to know him. That's not very nice. Before we go, just going to raid Gallagher's booty. <laughs> uh, seriously though, a lot of coins in this level. Very nice. So anyway. So Kingsley got his head down and learned old Wrinkle's tricks, and before long he was able to perform some neat attack combos of his own. What? I have never known that to happen before. God, that sucks. That, that was my bad. That was entirely my bad. Should have realized that would happen. I'll do that again. That's not even where we're supposed to go. <sighs> obnoxious game mechanics are obnoxious. I mean, they're fun most of the time, don't get me wrong, but they're also obnoxious. I'm not going to miss out on these. Even though I missed the ten coins. Okay. The ninja backflip we mentioned before. 
that's chapter two. Chapter three. I'll let this pseudo cutscene pass. More powerful weapon, yay! Something else some other people have to say. They they change what they say. Sorry, that was a major delay. Hmm. I'm sorry, that delay was terrible. I'm, I'm gonna trust that the recording gets all the words in. Uh, can't even jump into the hole. Okay. Chapter 3. Carrot Castle's kitchens were once known throughout the land for the, del for the delicious nosh they served up every tea time. Some days it was squashed mango with loganberry dripping, other days it would be pineapple lard topped with crusty cranberry croutons. But whatever it was, it was wonderful, and whatever they ate, they ate it with carrots. Because they're rabbits. Unfortunately, after self-taught chef Bad Custer joined the crew, there was a spate of food poisonings which left the king sitting on his throne for days on end. Bad Custard was hounded from the castle, and in a fit of rage he stole the queen's magic book and began to learn all manner of nasty spells. The magic was strong, and Bad Custard grew more powerful. He enslaved no end of upstanding soldiers, and as his evil influence grew, he moved ever closer to his goal. One day he would take Carrot Castle for himself. Oh, here's some sass from the writers of this manual. Uh, chapter 4, Kingsley asks how he can become a true knight like his father so he can defeat Bad Custard, and Old Wrinkle tells him he must search for the true knight items scattered about the Fruit Kingdom. Sorry, this chapter hasn't been written yet. You'll just have to take control of Kingsley and find and finish the story for yourself. Chapter 5. Stop hanging around and actually get in and get into it. The title screen will be displayed. Press the X button to access the main menu. <laughs> uh, mm, small amount of trolling there. Kind of funny. I'm amused very easily. Like, very easily. <laughs> Ugh, the delay. The delay is just so bad. What's up here? Oh, right. Well, just the way we came. So way back to Kingsley's room, I guess. I'm not sure if it's when you die or when you reload a save that the silver coins in that fountain reappear. Um, either way, they do reappear sometimes, which is nice. Sorry, I was just waiting for the lag to catch up. I don't know how it affects my voice in relation to what's going on. Um, I like the adjectives Kingsley uses for his first True Night items. Fantastic and cool. <laughs> Well, it is called Poor Luck Village. That's kind of. And no, 
I don't think this armor actually does increase your defense or anything like that. It just kind of matches the items you'll get later. Mask. Don't question it, it's an old game. Not supposed to make sense. that the village is named poor luck you know it's, it's like you would expect bad things to happen there But before we do that, we're going to look in pointless places. actual specific reason to not talk now and that is I don't know how the audio lag treats my voice in relation to what's being shown on the recording screen um, really I really don't this is all completely new to me so I'm not going to talk much anymore <laughs> Well, he just likes to eat. It's not like he's, like, directly hurting anyone. I'm sorry, I stick up for dragons. I love dragons. Dragons are awesome. Mainly because of, um, a very old video game series that I think I will eventually do for this Let's Play. Eventually, maybe, if it lasts. Hold on. I'm going to get you back your food, so I hope you don't mind if I take a couple of your coins. <laughs> anyway, um, to a very old game series that's very near and dear to my heart. Um, that's why I love dragons. Oh look, black doggy. I'm not sure if the leg screwed that up. We'll see you later. Ah, here's some plot. <laughs> 